So in this video, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about this fountain pen ink. It's called Bay State Blue. It's from Noodlers. And I think a lot of people out there probably already know about it, which it's a very popular royal blue or bright blue fountain pen ink. And I think it's got a pretty uh, large reputation for a fountain pen ink because it is so popular and it's got some interesting qualities that I think uh, a lot of people have talked about online over the years. But this is the container. I think this is a 50 milliliter, something like that. I forget the exact size, but uh, this is a lot of ink. It sells for about, I don't know, maybe $12, $15. Uh, it's relatively affordable. It's just a lot of ink and it's sold in this noodlers glass container that's always overfilled. Again, one of those things that has a big reputation online. So what's going on with Bay State Blue and why is it so popular? Uh, basically, as you can see from here, it is a royal blue, which is a bright blue. And uh, there's a thousand of them out there. I think every company pretty much has their own bright blue. But this one is, uh, again, really nice and bright, very legible, really nice color, kind of has more of a pop than a lot of them I've seen. And it doesn't have that sort of natural tone you might expect from a pilot or a uh, kind of a blue black or a navy tone it is really uh, on the bright side and i'm not sure that the video even quite does it justice for me on the on the phone or on the computer it looks a little bit darker than it does in person like i said it really does pop especially as it gets lighter uh, in in more concentration it gets darker as you do more sort of layers and you can see here this is like q-tip work just to kind of play with the color and spread it out. Then you can see here, uh, writing with a fountain pen, definitely appears to be uh, more saturated and the color isn't quite as bright and it has more of a sort of that, uh, I don't wanna say black, but more black tone to it and more of a navy feel. Whereas as it's lighter with a, you know, less stroke and less ink, uh, it has more of a bright pop to it. One of the interesting things about Bay State Blue and one of the reasons that it has such a reputation is that it is incredibly hard to clean out. Basically, I, it's not sold as a permanent ink, but it is basically a permanent ink. It's not pigmented, it is dye-based, but the dye is uh, quite strong, quite sticky, quite uh, hard to break up. I don't know exactly what the right word is, but if you get base day blue on your finger or your hand, it's gonna be there for like a good week and you could scrub it, you could hit it with some rubbing alcohol and those things will, will get it lighter. Uh, and they'll like kind of drop the, you know, lower the consistency or the, the depth of the color, but it is really hard to get out of things. That includes your hand. If you get it on there, which is almost impossible with these noodler containers, they're actually my least favorite of any fountain pen ink seller. That noodle noodler's bottle is by far the worst. Uh, but also the ink will really stain any components of a lot of fountain pens. So I wouldn't recommend using the Bay State Blue with a pen you really like if you uh, care how it looks in the future. So like stains like that are gonna be extremely difficult to get out of the future. You'll see some blue here. Uh, I'm not saying all of it is from the Bay State Blue, but some of it is, those will be tough to get out. This piece right here, it actually was clear, uh, getting that blue tone, tone out of there. I mean, the uh, feed right here, but also in here, getting that blue tone out will be really hard. Uh, in this pen, this is a platinum cool or balance or something like that. Uh, I opted to use a cartridge. I got a platinum cartridge that cleaned it out. I put the base state, base state blue in there uh, just because it was easier to refill a cartridge a few times than it will be to get a converter and dedicate that converter to be blue all the time. So as far as the color goes, uh, I really like it. I'll say it is a very nice blue. It's very enjoyable to use. Highly legible, well-behaved, uh, works really great in every pen I've used it in. No problem stopping or starting. And it just, it's one of those inks that just wants to write. The downside of course, is that it, <laughs> it does do feather on a cheaper paper like this one. Uh, and it is, like I said, really hard to clean. As far as water resistance goes, I tested here. This is just one stroke with a uh, with a Q-tip with Bay State Blue on it. This is water. 
rubbed back and forth with a similar Q-tip, you can see almost no effect from this. Here's a couple strokes of the Q-tip, and I, I did that until the paper started wearing away. Again, this is a cheaper paper, but uh, it still started to wear down. And this right here, that's with a, uh, a uh, Pelican or, I forget who, maybe it's, yeah, a Pelican or Pelican uh, ink destroyer called the Super Pirate or Super Pirat. Uh, that, again, started wearing down the paper before it had any real impact on that royal blue. So uh, this stuff is really in the paper. It's there for keeps. So if you get it on your hand, expect it to be there for a few days. If you get it on some softer plastic, like a fountain pen cartridge, it's probably going to stay blue and just be careful what pens you use it on because that blue is going to be tough to get out. Outside of that, it's a fun ink to use, highly legible. Again, like I said, well-behaved. I will keep this platinum pen uncapped for hour stretches and you put it down and it's writing. Some of that will have to do with this being a nice high quality pen, but again, a lot of it has to do with the base state. It just doesn't want to seize up. So uh, from, you know, I have very mixed feelings about this ink because I like the blue, but there's a lot of great royal blues out there. I tend to think this is a nicer tone and a more interesting tone than most of them. But again, I don't really feel like it's a giant advantage over something like the, uh, uh, I don't know, like a Schneider Blue ink, which is, uh, you know, the 4,000, uh, yeah, Schneider Blue or uh, Pelican or Pelican 4001, like very standard, very affordable blue inks that are well behaved. Uh, I tend to opt towards, and I don't think the base state blue is really worth the trade off for me, but the color does have a nice pop. Uh, honestly, if I'm going to go for a blue color with a fountain pen ink, I almost always opt for a Lamy blue, Lamy's standard blue. That really is my favorite, but I do appreciate this one and I know why it has so many fans. Anyway, just some quick thoughts about Bay State Blue. It's a fun color and a nice one to have in your collection, but uh, not really one that I tend to wheel out so much just because it does come with some headaches. And I, uh, again, I don't use, like using the bottle. I always handle it as if this thing's, uh, you know, <laughs> just an accident waiting to happen. Okay, thanks for watching.